What's up guys, it's Tackle Tip Tuesday. Just got back from Lake Gunnersville. Um, wasn't a great event for me. I'll have, uh, I'm actually gonna do my, my blog, or vlog, whatever, um, Friday. I had that up, I think I'm gonna make that just kind of like a tournament report. Sorry I didn't do it last week, I was on the water, they won't let us upload stuff while we're on the water and all that, so uh, I missed that. I know you should stay on schedule, but we didn't do it for that one. Um, today, talk about Battle traps, traps, lipless crankbaits. Obviously, um, it's a big player out there at uh, Gunnersville. It wasn't for me. I just didn't catch them on it. But um, you know, there, there's several different kinds. Um, everybody does something different with them. So I just want to run through real quick, give you kind of an idea. I don't know if you want to see this or not. I don't want to dump them all out. But kind of some of my basic colors. Pretty much, it's real simple. You're with a with a trap, and this is pretty much any bait. You're imitating one of two things, like 99% of the time. You're gonna be imitating a, a crayfish, a crawfish, which is where you get your reds. You know, everybody always talks about on a red trap. That's a regular one. Um, that's actually a one ouncer. One of my favorite colors though, because everybody throws red. I like this. I think it's called carp. You can see it's just like a more of an orange. I think it looks a lot more natural. Uh, Strike King has has a few different ones. That's an absolute mess. I'm a half ounce. I like the half ounce more than anything uh, most of the time. And then of course you have your shad patterns. Now there are different shad patterns out there, but it's what I'm wanting to get at is the the time that kind of I had somebody message me on Instagram asking about it. Is actually why I'm doing this video asking what colors so for me springtime when that water starts getting above around or above 50 degrees I like a red a red trap a red lipless crankbait why 50 degrees well that 50 degree mark is where your crayfish are gonna in the spring they start emerging from all their holes all the all their nests to start spawning now does that mean a bass isn't gonna eat a red trap when it's 45 no that doesn't mean that but I think it the red Rattle trap bite gets a lot better around that 50, 52, 55. That's when it really starts turning on. Um, when when that's not happening, <laughs> get one I can actually get out here. I need to do a tip on how to organize these as soon as I figure out how to do it a good way. Um, so if it's under if it's under 50 degrees, or or I'm in the fall where everybody knows the the shad migration in the fall, I like throwing something like this. It's just a red eye shad. Silver sided, black back, pretty simple, kind of a gizzard shad pattern. I like throwing this, just a something simple. Obviously, there's all kinds of different patterns. You know, you can you can go crazy with them. You can go with the purple, or black back, purple sides, all that. But primarily, I'm gonna have, like I said, my crayfish and then my my shad, my minnow patterns. Now, there's a few variations. I when my, with coming my minnow patterns, my shad pattern, whatever you call them. I'm gonna have a couple different things here. A couple different patterns. Let me get one out here. I have too many of them. So, this right here, I believe this is Shore Minnow. Another red eye shad, just a half ounce. I've caught a ton of fish on this thing. Just a real kind of natural I like throwing this in conditions when it's um, one, it's cloudy, or two, the water has a little bit of color to it, or both. I mean, as with anything, you're gonna have to experiment, um, but I like throwing that lipless crankbait right there. I like that, I think it's called, I believe it's called Shore Minnow. Uh, but anything, it doesn't have to be Shore Minnow, anything, you can see this box, um, or this right here, it has just kind of some flat colored. I do have some chartreuse in there, some like citrus shad. I like those when the water's stained. Um, but on like a sunny day, We'll go back with the one I already had. Like if you're getting some sun, I like to go back to just the old school black back, blue back, silver sides. That's always a good one for me. And something I've really started getting into the last couple of years is actually it's this, um, it's not chrome, I guess gold, kind of a gold black back gold sides. I like this, black back gold sides. What it produces best for me is when the water is dirty and it's sunny outside. If it's you know if it's dirty and um, if it's dirty, let me get this out. If it's dirty and cloudy, 
I like to go more with a citrus shad. It's buried up in there, but I'll just hold that one up. My whole, the one on top I got there, citrus shad. Most people know what citrus shad looks like. Uh, dirty and cloudy, I like to go more of a citrus shad. Dirty and sunny, gold. Clear and sunny, silver, black back, blue back. Clear and cloudy, I go with more of a, a straight white or a more solid color. So hopefully that helps y'all out. There's a few more things. You know, you can experiment with uh, one knockers. The striking has a tungsten two tap now. Um, but experiment with all that. Nice thing about it, you can cover a lot of water uh, and usually get a, get a couple bites. So hopefully y'all enjoyed it. Appreciate y'all watching. Be sure to subscribe below and check back next week for next Tackle Tip. Thanks, guys.